Welcome to Breath of Life International Ministries, where we are kingdom citizens declaring that kingdom message. I am Apostle Albert Anderson, the senior pastor. For more information about our congregation, go to bolim.info. That's B-O-L-I-M dot info. Now, you're about to hear a word from the Most High Elohim that I'm sure it will bless you, challenge you, and change you. So come on in as we hear this word from on high. Ours will sound now. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Come on, saints of the Most High. Oh, the shofar has sounded. Are you ready? Are we ready? Amen. Hallelujah. We bless Yahweh for this Sabbath service on today. Glory. We welcome you, those that are here, and we welcome our global audience. Come on. Let's welcome our global audience that are here with us as we're going to do our declarations. Come on, Sister Shonda Doyle. Hallelujah. declarations I am established in righteousness and oppression is far from me I am redeemed from poverty sickness and spiritual death I overcome all I overcome all because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Let's do it again. And over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall hurt me. I am the righteousness of Yahweh and Yeshua. I am rooted and grounded in love. Breath of Life International Ministries advances and establishes the kingdom of Yahweh through preaching, teaching, and healing in Deer Park and in all the world. Apostle and Prophetess Anderson are pastors after Yahweh's own heart, and they are willing and obedient concerning the instructions of Yahweh. Come on, the gates of hell will not prevail. Come on, the gates of hell will not prevail against Bolim. We call forth the sons and daughters of Bolim to this house. We say to the north, give up, and to the south, Keep not back. We say to the east and west, release them now. Yahweh increases Bolim more and more for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Yeshua. We are victorious. Come on, we are victorious and more than conquerors in Yeshua's name. Amen. Shema Israel, hear, O Israel, Yahweh our Elohim. Yahweh is one, and you shall love Yahweh, your Elohim, with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Amen. And now we're going to have communications by Minister, Minister Samuel. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. You may be seated. Welcome. Welcome again to our service. Welcome to our international community of believers and disciples. Here are your communications for today. Please join us each and every Tuesday for prayer at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. Our weekly prayer is on Zoom, and you'll receive the reminder text with the Zoom link and information that is on this slide. 
If you would like to receive text messages from Bolin, please visit our website, www.bolim.info, to subscribe. On this past Tuesday, the Right Nation prayed that we understand that faith can save our very lives. And so stay connected and invite a friend to join as we continue our current series, Activate Your Faith. Please email info at bolem.info if you have any challenges or questions with accessing the Zoom or the recording. And as we continue to grow in prayer, you are invited to join Teacher Carol Patterson each and every night at midnight for the Worshiping Word Warrior Prayer Watch. The dial-in number is on the slide and no access code is needed. Teacher Patterson and those who join the call are continuing to press into Yahweh's word through worship, prayer, and exhortation. Please join and connect with this powerful ministry. All are welcome to participate. And then next, you are invited to connect and donate to SOWER, which stands for Strangers, Orphans, Widows, Emergency Relief. Elder Daphne Mitchell is the visionary of SOWER, and this powerful ministry reaches out to the homeless in the Houston region and beyond. You are invited to reach out to volunteer, donate, and learn more. The ways to donate are on the slide. You can donate via PayPal, Zelle, Cash App, or mail your seed. And remember, every seed has the power to produce. And next, Rosebud is on the move with community outreach. And so again, Rosebud Ministries is inviting you to Fragrant Fridays, which is the second Friday of each and every month at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. The last Fragrant Fridays was yesterday, last night, at the WOW 2024 conference, and the theme was Live. And so Rosebud Ministries hosted a panel discussion about overcoming loss, and it was a very impactful conversation. To view the recording, you can go to Rosebud Ministries' Facebook page or their YouTube channel under the Rosebud Ministries. Prophetess Patricia Wright is the visionary of Rosebud Ministries, and this powerful ministry focuses on widows and those who have experienced loss in the Houston region and beyond. To learn more or to volunteer, please reach out to Prophetess Wright, and the ways to donate are on the slide. You can donate via Cash App, Zelle, or through PayPal on the website. Remember, Rosebud Ministries, where your fragrance is required. And next, you are invited to have an encounter with Yahweh each and every Friday morning at the Bolim DTC from 6.30 to 7.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. And so again, we did not meet yesterday, but we will be meeting this upcoming Friday. Remember everyone, we will be meeting Yahweh in his sanctuary this upcoming Friday. And so Yahweh is personally inviting you to remove anything that is not like him in our lives and to seek and embrace his divine strategies and plans for his new year, new life for us. This is an in-person gathering only, and all are strongly encouraged to come out. However, for those who are not able to attend, please continue to pray. And the First Fruit to Shavuot prayer guide has been released as a way to engage in prayer during this time as part of your personal journey to encounter Yahweh. Let's come ready to pray and engage with Yahweh during this time each and every Friday morning. And next, as the new year has been declared in Israel, we are continuing to celebrate the upcoming appointed times. What a better way to celebrate Yahweh's appointed times than with biblically-based shirts and materials. This year, Code of Many Colors Consulting and Design is offering appointed time items. As you see on the screen, there are two new Passover t-shirt designs, the appointed times according to Leviticus 23 t-shirt design, and blood strips for you to put over your door and lentils as explained in Exodus 12. Each of these items can be customized, and you can select your shirt and size preference. In to order any of these items or more from Comcad, please reach out directly to Elder Daphne Mitchell by calling or texting 346-317-3987. And as we continue through the appointed times, please reach out to inquire about other items she can create for you. Let's celebrate Yahweh's appointed times. And next, Breath of Life International Ministries is going to the Cayman Islands. Attention, Grand Cayman Women of Life Getaway attendees, please remember the following. The getaway is from August 5th to the 11th, 2024. Installments or full payment of your remaining balance can be made anytime via our standard ways of giving, Zelle and PayPal. 
Please note on your payment that you are giving towards the Women of Life trip by noting W-O-L trip. And the full balance is due by June 30th. And lastly, please remember that you must have a current passport as we are traveling internationally. If you have any questions, please email info at bolem.info. And we cannot wait to see everyone there for a time of fun, fellowship, and relaxation. And also, we have a giving update. Bolem is no longer able to receive donations via Cash App. Cash App has moved to a new platform for business, which would require everyone to create a new account. So for now, electronic donations will only be received via Zelle and PayPal, but you can still mail your seeds if that's what you prefer, right? And so again, no more Cash App, Zelle and PayPal only for electronic giving to Breath of Life International Ministries. If you have any questions, please email info at bolem.info. And now we will have Shabbat Shalom. Prophet is right. It's that time, everyone. Welcome, welcome to our Shabbat service. Amen. Teacher Patterson's going to help us out here. Come on, you all know what we do. We want to welcome everyone with Shabbat Shalom. We're going to greet you and get up and greet one another. So here we go. Here we go. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom. Say Shabbat Shabbat. Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat 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 Hey 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 Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom. Say Shabbat Shabbat, Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat, Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat, Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shabbat Yeah 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 Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Hey glory Shabbat Shalom saints 
of the Most High. Hallelujah. We return, hallelujah, to our covenant with Yahweh. We are grateful for each of you that are here on this afternoon. You all, we're ready for the word of Elohim. We're going to hear from Minister Leslie Ward as we go forth in our service on today. Amen for Minister Ward. Thank you. Thank you, Prophetess Wright. Sounds of life, will you please play We're Better Together? Shabbat Shalom. We're better together as we will release our children into the most capable hands of Teacher Patterson as we prepare for the word to go forth. speaker is a mother, grandmother, entrepreneur. She is the voice of Soa and the proprietor of Coat of Many Colors. Elder Mitchell loves Yahweh and his people. Yahweh blessed Elder Mitchell with many gifts and talents and unique ways to teach his word. So Bolamites and our virtual audience, let's encourage Elder Mitchell by saying, teach the word, Elder Mitchell, as she comes. Teach the word, Elder Mitchell. Teach the word, Elder Mitchell. Great afternoon, everyone. Teach the word, Elder Mitchell. Teach the word. <laughs> Let us pray. Oh, Father, how I thank you for the day. I give your name praise and I give your name glory, Father. Father, I just want to repent for anything that I've said, I've done, I've thought that was not pleasing in your sight, Father. I ask that you create in me a clean heart. Clean out all that junk, Father. And renew a steadfast, strong spirit within me. I decrease, Holy Spirit, that you might increase, increase, increase. I call on the increase of the anointing today. Increase at the cellular level. I thank you for this assignment, Father. I thank you, Apostle and Prophetess, for counting me worthy to do the assignment. It's in the mighty name of Yeshua, I pray. Amen and amen. Y'all may be seated. Okay, first slide. We have had some amazing series. <coughs> Excuse me. As Yahweh reveals who he has called us to be. Disciples. Who are capable. Who are worthy. And who are amazing. Today, I have the privilege of talking about activating your faith and march up to Shaviot. Romans 12, 1 and 2, 3 says, I call upon you, therefore, brethren, through the compassions of Elohim, to present your bodies a living offering, set apart, well pleasing to Elohim, your reasonable worship. And do not conform to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove, prove what is that good, well-pleasing, 
and perfect desire of Elohim. For I say, through the favor which has been given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he should think, but to think soberly, as Elohim has given each a measure of belief or faith. Next slide. One of our next uh, series that we worked on was from John 9 and 4. It says, it is necessary to work the works, necessary to work the works of him who sent us while it is day. For night is coming when no one is able to work. Necessary. Strong's G, 1163. It is necessary. There is a need of to behoove is right and proper. I must work is a marvelous statement of Yeshua. The worker is well earned title to Yeshua Hamashiach. He is the worker, the chief worker. And he is an example of all workers and an example which we should follow today. Next slide. Now we're in the series now. Coming from Hebrews 11. It says, and belief is the substance of what is expected, the proof of what is not seen. For by this the elders obtain witness. By belief, we understand that the ages were prepared by the word of Elohim, so that what, what is seen was not made of what is visible. Next slide. On this next slide, there are two parts of faith and belief. One is substance, and one is proof. Substance, strong, five, two, eight, seven. A setting or pla placing under. Thing put under, a substructure, a foundation, that which, is, that which has foundation. Or it's firm. Real being. Steadfastness of mind. Firmness. Courage. Resolution. Confidence. Firm trust. And assurance. And proof. A proof that by which a thing is proven or tested or having a conviction. Remember, Yahweh has given all of us a measure of faith. Next slide. As Apostle has always told us, when Yahweh calls a meeting, we should go. From Leviticus 23 and 1. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe saying, speak to the children of Israel and say to them, the appointed times of Yahweh. Which you are to proclaim as set apart gatherings. My appointed times are these. But without belief. It is impossible to please him for he comes for he who comes to Elohim has to believe he is and he is a rewarder of those who earnestly seek him when Yahweh calls a meeting 
the appointed times of Yahweh for 2024. We just come out of Passover, which was sundown on March 24th. Unleavened bread, which was sundown March 25th through sundown Monday, April the 1st. First fruit and counting of the Omer begin on Sunday, March 31st. So now we're in our journey of Tishaviot, which will be from May, sundown May 18th through sundown May 19th. So we're in this journey of counting the Omer. Next slide. We live from harvest to harvest. And on the, the slide, you see all 49 days. And you see the degree of which the barley, when we start out, is green. But as the progression of the days, our green barley starts to turn amber gold. And when I look at that, I think, oh, we have come through Passover, unleavened bread, first fruit. We're green. We are green. It's just like we're just starting all over in Yah. We're starting all over. And we're journeying up. There are some areas that are still green that we need it to become that rich amber. So as we are traveling, let us hear from Yahweh on which way to go, which step to take. In this month of radiance and light, we need to be able to see, truly see where Yahweh has taken us where he's taken us. And we are on day 14. Day 14, remember that. Next slide. You see that mountain? I didn't get a chance to ask my pastors, but I wondered if it was a mountain that they took a picture of when they were in Israel. Because that's what it reminded me of. My subject, activate your faith and march up to Shaviot. Are y'all looking at that picture? See the steps carved into the mountain. It starts out wide. And as you ascend up, you see it gets narrow. It looks exciting. We get started. We moving. We moving. We're all excited. It looks easy. We're excited about the journey with great expectation. Great expectation. My great expectation is in bold and all caps. Yahweh is moving. So we done made it. Today we on day 14. We done had a few hiccups here and there. The more you look, you see it gets narrow. And I often wonder, wonder where we at in that? A very narrow path. I'm still excited. Some challenges. But the great expectation has now changed. It's still great. But I got the lowercase great. Not the big, bold, great, still bold, but I got a lowercase great. And not only am I standing tall with my great expectation, with these few challenges, now I got to lean. My great expectation now is leaning. You know how when you're typing out something, you got the, all the big, bold letters? But when you do that italicize, what it does, it leans. 
And I'm like, wow. Which made me question, what am I standing on? And I'm up to the substance. And according to our apostle, as he broke it down, sub was under stands. So what are you standing under? What is your understanding of what you're standing under? Next slide. Y'all see my happy face up there? That's day 14. I took the time to try to count each and every one of them steps to be somewhat accurate. 14, you see, I'm still excited. I'm still bold. I got to lean. And I got questions. The number 14 means deliverance and salvation. So as we march up to Shaviot, let us receive the deliverance that brings healing. Because this is also the month of healing. Being healed in whatever area you need it. Whatever area you need it. Wherever the lean is in your great. Ask Yahweh to help you. Next slide. I have three words up there. Active. Activate and activated. All three of those words have one thing in common. It requires you to do something. Each one of them require you to do something. Active. On the lower end. A state of action. Moving, working, or doing something. For example, you have an active life. Activate in the middle. To engage in an action or make something active, according to dictionary.com. To make active or more active, according to merriamwebster.com. Activated is above. Something caused it or how it got there. To start it off, something triggered it, something set it in motion, something caused it to start, operate, turn on, work, or ignite. When you look at your faith, where are you as you're marching up to Shaviot? Do you have active faith? Activate faith, activated faith, or are you inactive, not engaged in any action, feeling lazy, sluggish, immovable? Remember, the word says faith without works is what? Dead. So as I ask Yahweh for help, I say the same to you. If you find yourself in this same position, ask the Father to help you. So with the challenges, you're using your faith, you're working your faith, you're doing your thing, you think it's going on. But when you get these hiccups, it starts making me question how do I activate this thing? Is it activated? Because sometimes we can think we got it going on and it's working and flowing, but then sometimes it ain't. Psalms 
121, verses 1 and 2. It says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from Yahweh, the maker of heaven and earth. Matthew 7, 7 and 8 says, Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And he who seeks, finds. And he who finds, seek, and he who knocks, it is open. So we ask him. We seek him. And we knock him. Help Yahweh. Show us how to activate this faith. Show us how to walk this thing out. You have brought us a mighty long ways through several series. We have been discipled. He has increased and showed us our identity in him. He has told us we must work the works. Now he says, activate. Activate. So, what it is, I opened up my Bible, and I went to faith, and I looked at every scripture. Next slide. You have a seed, and you have hearing. 1 Peter 5 and 9 says, Resist him, firm in belief, knowing that the same hardship are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. First of all, the Father had to let me know, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. Sometimes you feel like you're the only one going through this. You see everybody else out there, they flourishing in their faith. Things just flipping over, just, just everywhere you look, it's happening for them. They're not letting you see when they got the hiccup. But first Peter says, <laughs> that same hardship, y'all all, we all facing it. It's just a matter of how, it, how we handle when it comes our way. Seed faith. Matthew 17 and 20 says, and Yeshua said to them, because of your unbelief, for truly I say to you, if you have belief as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it shall come, and it, and it shall move, and no, ma and no matter shall be impossible for you. No matter. That, seed, that mustard seed no matter. My sister Dora over there, Dora Nation, planted some mustard seeds that was given to her. And they sprung up this week. And she sent me a picture. And I was like, wow, yeah. That thing, it was microscopic. When we, when we received them. But now she has two little leaves that done broke through. And I told her, I said, them the collars, just wait. The next one's coming up is the true leaves. The true leaves, the true substance. And that's the thing that the Father wants us to get to. I imparted into you a mustard seed. A mustard seed. Activate the thing. I in you, you in me. Yeshua said, I only do what my father does. So if that be the case, we should be doing the same thing. So activate, Bolin. Activate. Mustard seed, activate. Hearing. 
Romans 10 and 17 says, so then belief comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Elohim. Luke 8 and 21 says, and he answered saying, and he answered, said to them, my mother and my brother are those who are hearing the word of Elohim and doing it. Luke 8 and 15 says, and that is a good, and that on good soil are those who having heard the word with a noble and good heart, retain it and bear fruit with endurance. So not only is the father talking about mustard seed faith, but we need to have the faith to hear. The faith to hear. He said, hear, he said, having heard the word with a noble and good heart. We can't just hear the word and just be, uh, they hear, I'm off in the bus, Daphne. Daphne be hearing some words, y'all. She quick to question. Quick. Now, the father that already told me I'm worthy, I'm capable. I'm amazing. So why when I hear the word, I'm still shaking? I told you my grape is leaning. Still grape, but it's leaning. And I'm just trying to get it to stand back up bold again. That's what I'm, tr I'm trying to get it to stand back bold again. He said, with a good heart, retain it. Retain what you hear. Because what you when what because once you retain it, it's gonna bear fruit. Once you retain what you hear, it's gonna bear fruit. Remember, faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing. Sometimes we've got to keep hearing and hearing. Hear as many times as you need to hear that the, that that word can bear fruit. That it can bear fruit. The next slide he took me to. The next words he talk, told me was walk and live. I got to walk by faith so that I can live. John 11 and 40 said, Yeshua said to her, did I not say to you that if you believe, you shall see the esteem of Elohim? We need to see the esteem of the Father as we walk out life. We need to see it, but it's only going to happen as we build up our belief, our faith. First Peter 5 and 9. No, I did that one already. Hebrews 10 and 39 says, But we are not of those who draw back to destruction, but of, but of belief to the preservation of life. No drawing back. Stuff coming. That's the enemy's job. But we have to remember the word says, we win. No matter what comes up. And I found myself, even with these hiccups, I had to go back and say, but Father, you said we win. So why am I walking with my, 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 my great leaning? I got to get out that lean. Because I win. I win. Habakkuk 2 and 4 says, see, he whose being is not upright in him is puffed up. But the righteous one lives by his steadfastness. So I started asking myself, okay, is my great leaning because I'm puffed up? What is it? What have I allowed the enemy to speak, drop these little nuggets and I done grabbed hold to it? Let my flesh tell you, oh, no, not you, not today. 
and what I'm finding out about myself. The word says, pull down every imagination that exalts itself. I struggle with the pull down. So I have to expose him. So when I expose him, then I'm, then I'm, I'm strong enough to pull it down, but I got to expose him. Because sometimes you can just say stuff and pull it down and but I got it tied up, bound up, but he's still speaking. So the only way I can shut his mouth is I have to expose him. So find out what you have to do to shut him up. Shut him up so your faith can be activated. Romans 1 and 17 says, For in it the righteousness of Elohim is revealed from belief to belief. As it has been written, the righteous shall live by belief. Next slide. He gave me saved and sick. Mark 9, 23 says, And Yeshua said to him, If you are able to believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Ephesians 2 and 8. For by favor you have been saved through belief. And that not of yourselves. It is a gift. Salvation is a gift. A gift. We can't even brag about being saved. You know, some people get saved and they want to be bragging. As, as, I didn't grow up in church, so, you know, I used to always hear about this fire insurance stuff. What is, what is fire insurance? They would think that because they done gave their hand to the pastor that they got fire insurance. Yahweh. It's Yahweh that saves. It is Yahweh that draws. So all of us are sitting here. It's because Yahweh called you. He called you. Some of us are still running from the full call. We're going to take a piece of the call. I, I, hands up, feet. I had certain parts I wanted to play. Father, I want to be in your army, but I want to pick the parts I want to play. This was not the part, y'all. This was not the part. But I'm thankful that he kept calling. I'm thankful that I kept hearing. I'm thankful that he helped me to build up and know who I am in him. So that I could stand here in him. Talking loud. Y'all, it just amazes me, y'all, when I be talking loud. Y'all just don't know. Apostle, you hear me? <laughs> y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm just thankful. I'm thankful. Ooh, I'm thankful. James 5, 14 through 16. Is any among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the assembly and let them pray over him, having anointed him with the oil in the name of the master. And the prayer of the belief shall save the sick, and the master shall raise him up. And if he has committed sin, he shall be forgiven. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another so that you are healed. The earnest prayers of the righteous one accomplish much. Our belief heals the sick. Our belief. Say, pray over them. Anoint them. Praying, anointing with oil in the name of the master. Those actions will save the sick. 
But it also says, confess your trespasses to one another. Healing comes from that. Prayer saves you sick, but confessing your sins to one another is where your healing comes. I was like, huh? Because, you know, sometimes we're quick to go and, 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 and lay hands on somebody. But it says, anoint. First of all, they got to call you. That's what I'm learning now. I just can't, my heart goes out to everybody. But I got to wait on them to call me. That's what the scripture says. If, it's, if they're sick, they're supposed to call on you. I'm blessed to stand in a position of an elder. So when I get the call, then I can go and anoint and pray in the name of the master. For the sick to be saved. But until confession of their trespasses has happened, there is no healing. There is no healing. So, you know, my mouth was hanging all open. Because, you know, you pray for people and yet and still, sometimes you see results and sometimes you don't. But we always ask, is there any trespasses? Is there any unforgiveness? Because you got to get that stuff straight so that healing can take place. And the la next slide was work. I have shield and I have work. Galatians 5 and 6 says, For the Messiah Yeshua, neither circumcised or, nor uncircumcised, has any strength but belief, but belief working through love. So when I thought about this work, I'm thinking physical, manual labor, work, work in the works. But this work is about love. It's about love. First Thessalonians 1, 2 through 4 says, we give thanks to Elohim always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers. Remember, without, remembering without ceasing your work of the belief and the labor of love and the endurance of the expectation in our Master Yeshua, in the presence of, the, of our Elohim and Father, knowing brothers beloved by Elohim, that you were chosen, chosen to do the work. We're back to chosen. The shield. Genesis 15 and 1 says, After these events, the word of Yah Yahweh came to Abram in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield. Your reward is exceedingly great. Psalms 5 and 12 says, For you bless the righteous, O Yahweh. You surround him with favor as with a shield. Psalms 84 and 11 says, For Yahweh Elohim is the sun and a shield. Yahweh gives favor and esteem. He withholds no good matter from those who walk blamelessly. Next slide. Who shall ascend? Who shall ascend is the question that is echoed around the world. Who does go? Who shall ascend? Who will go? Will you go? Will you ascend? Psalms 24, verses 6, 3 through 6 says, Who does go into the mountains of Yahweh? And who does stand in his set-apart place? He who has innocent hands 
and a clean heart, who do not bring his life to naught, and did not swear deceitfully. He receives a blessing from Yahweh and righteousness from Elohim, from the Elohim of his deliverance. This is the generation of those who seek him, Jacob, who seeks your face. So that's Psalms 24, 3 through 6. So verse 6 says, this is the generation of those who seek him. So what I want you to do is replace, replace Jacob with your name. He said, this is the generation of those who seek him, whatever your name is, who seeks your face. So as a prophet is always tell us, lay hands on yourself and declare, I am the generation of those who seek him. Put your name there, Daphne, who seek your face, Selah. Amen. Next. So in all the words that the Father gave me to help activate my faith, activated faith marches you up to Shavuot. Activated faith marches you. Psalms 3 and 4 says, I cried to Yahweh with my voice, and he heard me from his set-apart mountain. So as we are standing on all these faith-filled words, let us, let them encourage you, let them motivate you, let them ignite you to activate your faith as you march up to Shaviot. I have a takeaway for you today. Three of them. First takeaway. Search the scriptures for the circumstance and make a faith confession to activate your faith. As we're marching up to Shavio, let the Ruach lead you to the scriptures that will counter whatever situation or circumstances or even emotions that you are facing. Personalize the scripture and make it into a confession. Speak it out. Declare it over yourself. Daily as needed until you are strengthened and, you're belie and you believe what you're saying. Reinforce your faith. Reinforce it. Psalms 119.10 says, I sought, I, I have sought you with all my heart. Let me not stray from your commandments. Verse 11 says, I have treasured up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Verse 12 says, blessed are you, O Yahweh. Teach me your laws. With my lips, I have recounted all your right rulings of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the ways of your witness as over all riches. Verse 15 says, I meditate on your orders and regard your ways. Verse 16 says, I delight myself in your laws. I do not forget your word. We will not forget. Next slide. Point takeaway two says, Increase your hearing of Yahweh's word to activate your faith. Increase your hearing of Yahweh's word to activate your faith. Let the word become active in you. The Ruach will tell you, but you really, the Ruach will lead and guide you in what to do. Give you the power to do it and increase your faith as you do it 
or as you go on your way. Romans 10, 17, and 18 says, So then belief comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of Elohim. Verse 18 says, But I ask, did they not hear? Yes, indeed. Their voice went out all over the earth, and their words to the end of the world. So as they heard, Father, let us hear. Yahweh, let us hear. Let us hear. Last point. Stand on the word or words that activate your faith. Ephesians 6. 10 through 20, but I'm going to pick some. Now that your faith is activated, act in a manner which aligns with what you are saying and believing. Maintain the endurance to endure the growing of your faith as a mustard seed with boldness because you are the righteous with, hold, with the Holy One living in you. Ephesians 6, we're going to do verse 11, says, put on, put on the complete armor of Elohim for you to have power to stand against the schemes of the devil. Verse 14, stand then, having girded your waist with the truth. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. And having fitted your feet with the preparation of the good news of peace, the helmet of, of deliverance, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of Elohim. Let us be girded up. Let us stand. Let us stand. So today, Father, I just want to thank you for showing me how to activate my faith. Thank you for allowing me to go through these faith-filled words, finding what I needed in the scripture, making a confession, speaking it out and declaring it till I became strong. Now I'm able to stand. So I thank you, Father, for the seed of faith that you sowed in me. As my seed is watered by your word and the seed begins to germinate and take root, may I not stump the blade by murmuring and complaining about where I am in this faith-growing process. Because the murmuring will stunt my growth. It is my desire to live a life worthy of the high calling in Messiah Yeshua. So help me to hear your small, still voice, Ruach HaKodesh. Help me to hear that I might be able to reproduce, have production. My seed grows, then it is pollinated, and from pollination, I produce fruit. Ruach HaKadosh, because the more I hear and hear, the more my roots become strong. And reproduction occurs, and I'm able to walk it out. It's in the mighty name of Yeshua, I pray. I thank you. I may pray that this word blesses you today, that it will strengthen you, that it will strengthen you and help you to activate your faith as we march up to Shaviat. Be blessed and amen and amen.
Any questions? Thank you so much, Edmonds. Is this your? I'm. I've learned my learning style. I'm good in keeping still, so I'm also a visual person. So when you um, when you brought up the steps, I began to actually see like the steps, the steps that up to travel up. Um, I'm I'm thanking y'all that even he didn't see me just now a clear understanding of the um, when you were talking about uh, the counting of the owner and just when you said that. I, it's get ready to turn green. I immediately, like before you even mentioned about the mustard seeds, literally I wrote down faith mustard seeds is what I wrote down. And the father has really, really been using my mustard seeds plants just to, just to keep me encouraged. Like I said, I'm a visual person. And seeing where I was um, at the first step compared to where I am now, it's I see the growth, I see where, you know, where the father is taking me. But at the same time, as you were saying, the hiccups, that's another thing too. And how do you, you know, you, you handle or take on these hiccups? Um, either you let your faith weary and you just, you know, let it take you out or you decide to keep going and keep, you know, being strong, keep going forward. Um, during this, you know, I'm always gonna, I love the scripture, John 9 and 4, it's become my favorite scripture of all. <laughs> on just how everything, how it is necessary, because I tell you, you know, I just testify about not being in pain. This week, of course, obviously, was in pain, and I consider that a hiccup. But at the same time, it's just like, okay, that doesn't mean that you're not healed and you're not delivered. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't mean that. Like, where where are you going to take this? How are you going to take this as, oh, man, like, it's, it's over? Or are you going to take this as, I'm still yet, you know? And by me, when you were even saying it, I began to see exactly in my healing process and how it's going to work. It doesn't mean that the father didn't do it. It's just a hiccup. Now, where, where's your faith going to lie in, in, in the midst of this exactly. hiccup? Um, and I can honestly say that I actually, I was talking to, I think my cousin or my sister, somebody. And I was, like I said, it's so funny how um, I didn't really understand the test of the devil until I, my my faith has really, really, truly been activated, right? Um, but since then, it's like I know now that he's coming since Sister Weed had told me, you know, the devil's mad, you know. And as soon as she told me that, it was like, okay, I didn't really know what to expect. But I consider those during those tests of trial as a hiccup. Yeah. And I thank the Father that my faith still did not weird, it did not stray away. I still get, even on the way to church, I was like in, in healing pain on the way here. And I began to, gra I grabbed my husband's hand while my hand was up and I'm like going down my leg, just continue to pray. Because whatever the, whatever the devil is up to, I personally don't care because I know what the Father has in store for me. There, that, that is getting narrow. Yes, yes, it is. And where am I going to lie? So I thank you so much, so much, so much, so much for the visual and allowing me to see where my stuff, like you said, this is only day 14. We still got some more to go. Yeah. I, where, where, we, where is our faith going to lie with the, within then? So thank you so much just for sharing that today. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, he's, he's going to test you to see. It, the scripture says we win. And that's, and that's the thing I have to hold on to. Even when my grade is weaning, the scripture says we win. Thank you, Elder Mitchell, for that <laughs> word. And you just said what I was going to comment on, that our, when our great is leaning, and we all have a tendency to, to lean. But what are we leaning on? You know, the word tells us to lean on Yahweh, but we lean on our own understanding. <laughs> we lean on doing it our own way. We lean on um, what people think, what people say. <laughs> we lean on <laughs> the labels that people have placed on us. But when are we going to lean on what Yahweh has to say? And the more we lean on him, our faith becomes activated. And we begin to grow in all that 
the things that we're leaning and crooked, we begin to stand straight. And I just thank you for for being transparent because we all lean <laughs> from time to time. If the truth is told, we all have a lean. <laughs> thank you. Pastor, Brother Reverend Mitchell, this was really a great teaching lesson. It was so good and it really... I saw something a little different as you as we talked about the steps that our faith is is really steps of faith. It's not it's it's multi layered, right? So you told us that first it was seed and hearing and then walk and live. And all of these are steps to our faith. It's not just one level, right? It, you can't just get faith by doing you gotta have all of these steps, shield and work, and you went on and told us all the steps that we needed to get to our faith. So I appreciated that because it's it's not just a one-hit wonder, <laughs> right? You've got steps, you've got levels that we have to go through. Um, every every step we take, it, it may be a, a seed here and it may be love somewhere else, but all of this is building us up, not just to Shavuot, but just to be built up in our faith. So thank you for bringing out those steps. Thank you. We have two comments. The first one is from or three. Apostle said, I hear you. Awesome word, Elder Mitchell. And thank then you. the other one is from Sister Denise Harry. She said, Thank you, Elder Mitchell, for so many points to study. Faith is definitely an action. Retain the word and it will be it will bear fruit. I love this. And our last one is from you, Sister Denise. Apostle Donna Dandy. She said, Thank you, Elder Daphne. A truly challenging word and confirmation in relation to some conversations I had with Yahweh not even two hours ago. And Sister Denise said, building blocks to walk out faith. Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all so much. Y'all know when we have these assignments, you be the first partaker, and I'm telling you, but it's good. I am growing. I am strong. <laughs> my great is great, and not leaning. <laughs> we're going to ask you all to stand, and we're going to pray for Elder Mitchell before we go any further. Amen. What a powerful word on this afternoon. Hallelujah, glory. Father, bless you. Father, we thank you for this, your humble servant. Father, we thank you for her activation. Father, thank you for what you've done in her, through her, with her. Thank you for her boldness. Thank you for her voice. Thank you for the glory that rests upon her life, Father. We thank you, Father, for the activation and the steps that she gave us, the building blocks, Father, for all of us to go forth. Father, we ask that you would strengthen your daughter right now in the mighty name of Yeshua. Father, for all the studying, for all that she put into her, Father, to pour out to your people. Father, would you replenish her? Would you replace that, Father? Will you restore her? Will you build her up on her faith, Father? Thank you, Father. We ask, Father, and come against any backlash, any retaliation, any plans of the enemy. Father, nothing will be able to penetrate this hedge of protection that you've placed around her. We thank you for the favor, hallelujah, that is upon her life, Father. We thank you that she is an elder, and Father. We thank you for the gift that she is to us here at Bolim and to the body of the Messiah. Now, Father, continue to strengthen her in her walk and in her call and all that you've called her to do in the matchless name of Yeshua. Touch her body, Father, from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, we pray in the matchless name of Yeshua. We thank you for her in Yeshua's mighty name. We say amen and amen and amen. Bless you, Elder Mitchell. Glory to the Lamb. We're going to keep moving forward. Come on, Prophetess Stephanie Cook is coming. You all get ready. Hallelujah for our time of giving. Glory to the Lamb. Hallelujah. Let's say amen for Prophetess Cook. Amen, amen, hallelujah. Thank you, Elder Mitchell, once again for such an awesome word on activating our faith. 
And even now, it's still time to activate in a different way. She talked about seeds, and now it's time for us to plant some seeds. It is our time of giving. And you know here at Breath of Life, we live from harvest to harvest and not from paycheck to paycheck. You know, the word says, come out of that, of her. Come out of her. Come out of her, my people. Come out of that old system of giving, from, of living from paycheck to paycheck. Come into the kingdom system where you can live from harvest to harvest. The kingdom system of giving and receiving. So as mentioned in our announcements, Breath of Life is no longer able to receive donations via Cash App. Cash App has moved to a new platform for business, which would require everyone to create a new account. So with that being said, we will now be using the electronic donations for Zelle and PayPal. So as you see on the screen, you can go to Zelle and it's under info at bolem.info. You can give that way, or you can go to the website, and that's bolem.info, and you can hit that big yellow sign, uh, uh, sign for uh, donate, and that's PayPal. Or if you prefer, you can mail your seed to P.O. Box 206, Deer Park, Texas, 77536. We do not have a secure mailbox here at this location, but we have provided the P.O. box for you to give that way. We want all your donations to be safe and placed in the right hands. So if anyone in the sanctuary needs an envelope in order to give, you can give cash or you can give check or you can even give money orders. Just raise your hand and our sanctuary servants will be more than happy to bring you an envelope, and then after our declarations, we will be able, you can come up and give into the given receptacles. So at this time, let us declare over our seed. Let's continue to activate our faith through declarations over our seed. So now, Together, let's say it and let's say it with power. Say it in belief. Say it that you have it. Whatever you decide on. <laughs> Come on. Father, I believe in your kingdom system of giving and receiving. So I believe that whatever I sow, I will also reap. I give cheerfully because Elohim, you love a cheerful giver. I am a kingdom distribution center. I give and it is given unto me a good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over. Do men give unto me? Come on now. I am completely out of debt and flowing in the abundant life. We declare this in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. Amen. So if you have your seeds, you can bring it up. Bring it up. Wave in your offering. Bring it up. Bring it up in joy. Bring it up. We don't throw seed here. We sow seed here. I live from Come harvest. Come on. We live from harvest to harvest. To harvest. I'm tending to the seeds. Jehovah's given me. I live from harvest. Come on. Harvest to harvest. I'm tending to the Jehovah's given me. I am faithful in what is little. You make me ruler of what is much. I'm obedient in my giving. So I Praise y'all that we can live from harvest to harvest. Father, we just thank you right now. We thank you for all those who gave. Father, we even thank you for those that, that desired to give and they just did not have it, Father. We thank you, Father, for the heart to give. 
We thank you for the seeds that will go forth for this house, Father, that they are planted in a good ground, and it's going to come up to nourish and to do all that you would have for this kingdom. And, Father, your people, we thank you for them sowing into this seed. Bless their homes. Bless, bless their nations. Bless all that their hands have to do. In Yeshua's mighty name we pray, amen and amen. So, Father, we, let us close out with prayer. Father, how we just thank you for this day. Thank you for activating our faith as we march up to Shavio, Father. Thank you for the continued strength for the journey. Thank you, Father, that our ears will be attuned to hear. Because faith comes by hearing and 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 hearing your word. We give your name praise and we give your name glory, Father. Continue to do the work. Continue to do the work. We submit to you, Father, so that the work can be done. Hallelujah. Bless the people today as they travel back home. May their homes be safe. In the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. Yahweh that we spoke, we sung in Hebrew comes from Numbers 6, 24 to 26. May Yahweh bless you and protect you. May Yahweh make his, shine his face to you and be gracious to you. May Yahweh lift up his face to you and give you shalom. Shalom. They shall put my name on the children of Israel and I myself, Yahweh, will bless them. Peace be in, within your paws and prosperity in your palaces. In the mighty name of Yeshua, amen. Thank you again for joining us at Breath of Life International Ministries. I'm Prophetess Marcelia Anderson, the Administrative Pastor. Listen, if you want to keep up to date with our upcoming gatherings, you can follow us on Facebook or Twitter at Bolim Live. Again, thank you for joining us. It is our prayer that your life will never, ever be the same because of the word that you received today. We love you to life and shalom, shalom.